When I was 17 and one month, I joined the army. And then three years later, I got blown up in Afghanistan. When I got injured, I didn't really know what to expect in the future years to come. I didn't know if, it was, if there was any point in me living. Didn't know where to go, what to do. So the only thing, the only thing I knew what to do was, um, was drink. I didn't admit I had PTSD for two, three years. I'm a soldier, do you know what I mean? I'm a big, tough, rough guy. Like, I'm not going to admit to people that I cry myself to sleep at night and stuff like that. I'm beating PTSD. I've not beat it, because I'll never beat it. But I'm always on top, I'm in control of it. The thing about scuba diving, well, it's the weightlessness. There's no more phantom pains, there's no more PTSD flashbacks, there's no more anxiety issues, there's nothing to be worried about. There's like no loud noises that'll trigger off an episode of PTSD because it's quite under there. A one-eyed rifleman isn't a lot of use to anybody. Having such a small injury mean so much was the hardest thing. I've been blown up, you know, my mates have died and I've had to kill people. Now what do I do with my life? You know, it's, it's, it's very difficult. If you had peace under the water then, just by that law alone, you should be able to have peace outside of the water. It gave me hope where there's a lot of darkness. Chris is a wicked guy. Seeing how comfortable he is and how reassuring he is in the water is massively inspiring. You dive to your limits and just because you are a paraplegic or a tetraplegic or a double, triple, quadruple amputee, there's ways of getting around things. It doesn't matter that you're disabled. There's a guy out there with no legs teaching people how to scuba dive. It's phenomenal and that's what I love about him. <laughs>